A Sphinx is a documentation generator or a tool that translates a set of plain text source files into various output formats like HTML, PDF, plain text, EPUB, tech, manual pages, and more. That is, if you have a directory containing a bunch of restructured text or markdown documents. A Sphinx can generate a series of HTML files, a PDF file, via LaTeX, and much more. But how can we make documentation using a Sphinx for our Python code? The first thing we have to do is to install a Sphinx. By typing pip install sphinx and sphinx rtd theme, we will install a sphinx package and along with it the optional theme which will make our website shine out. First of all, I have to put sample codes for my python package inside the maths directory. I have also created an empty docs folder. Sphinx supports various types of doc strings by using extensions. The modules inside maths directory contain functions with doc strings. Specifically, doc strings written according to the Google Python style guide. Now, go inside the docs folder and type Sphinx Quick Start. We do not separate source and build directory here and fill in the project name, author name, and project release version. If you do not set the project language, the default would be set to English. A Sphinx files are generated. Inside docs folder, click on config file, conf.py. By typing the following three lines of code, we'll tell a Sphinx that the code is residing outside of the current docs folder. In addition, we add the required extensions to the extensions list. Finally, Change the HTML theme variable value to the Sphinx RTD theme we installed via pip. Now, inside the parent folder containing docs and maths folders, we use the Sphinx API doc command to generate that RST files. Now we open index.rst and add modules to it. Finally, inside the docs folder we type make HTML. The generated HTML files are inside HTML folder in underscore build directory. As you can see, after opening index.html, we can click on maths under content to check out the documentation of our Python package.